We've seen some of the, uh, the facts, the evidence that's emerged uh, within the last few months. Europe's largest stock market is now in Paris, not London, for the first time since records began. The Centre for European Reform did a study and they looked at the impact of the UK's economy, of Brexit, and comparing that with other countries of similar economic records. And the conclusion was sobering. The final quarter of 2021, GDP was 5.2% smaller. Investment was 13.7% lower. The goods trade was 13.6% lower. GDP, investment, goods trade, all lower than what they would have been if the UK had remained in the EU. And Mark Carney, the former governor of the Bank of England, he said in 2016, the British economy was 90% the size of Germany's. Now it's less than 70%. What's interesting is that these problems have been created because of trade barriers, restrictions on immigration, and also low confidence rather than divergence. And we're talking primarily today about the consequences of divergence. But my point is that I think the damage that's been done so far is not through divergence, but because of all these other factors. Brexit freedoms are unlikely to be as dynamic and beneficial as first promoted too. So it begs the question, why do we bother with all of this? What was the point of doing Brexit if we're actually not going to get any of the benefits, none of the benefits, but equally, the argument about drive, using Europe to drive towards independence is equally folly, because we should not be using um, European issues to drive independence. We should be learning the lessons of Brexit, the chaos that it's already caused in terms of trade and economic damage.